How to test a programmable unijunction transistor. This is a uh, 2N6027, 20, pretty famous unijunction transistor. Let's look at the data sheet. It says 0 0.35 volts gate trigger point at 10K resistor in series with your gate and 10 volt power supply. But if you read anywhere in the data sheet, anywhere on the internet, nobody wants to explain you how to actually trigger these and how to understand how this voltage is presented to the device. So I will show you this. The anode is positive, cathode is negative. So this is the way you go, all right? As long as the gate is connected together with the anode, so you have zero volts between these, then nothing flows this way. The device is off. For this one to become a diode, gate voltage needs to go negative in relationship to the anode, all right? And the voltage is typical 0 0.35 according to the data sheet. So here is my test setup to prove exactly that. Look at here, the flat face of the component is pointing up. It's exactly like the other picture I've just shown. Here is an LED, 10K resistor and 10K gate resistor. So this is the anode, gate, cathode. So to make this super visual, what I got here is the 10 volt supply. And that is actually the thin wires that goes in here and here. And then the a little bit thicker test cable that is also connected to the anode and then to the gate with the black one. Okay, so this is my right power supply. So at the moment, they're both turned on and we have 10 volts like that. Okay, so let's select the gate voltage and just slowly crank up the gate voltage. So when I reach 0 0.3, here we go. I was expecting 0 0.35, <laughs> but it's of course with a is tolerance, obviously. So now I have triggered the device and it will stay on as long as there's current flowing through the LED. So you can either turn off that supply and see now the LED is turned off and I can turn it on again. Let's go into a little uh, more fine detail voltage here and then I will just more slowly find the trigger point. So this is point three and then we just dial until we see the light. Here we go. So that is how you can test it is working and it will stay on like that. You can also set the test voltage to a point that is like really, really close to the trigger point and it doesn't affect anything. And then you just go to the point where it's triggering to the very last millivolt. Let's see. See, that was a 410. Then I just turn it on and off. So it's, see, it's not even triggering. And I'm just 10 millivolts from the trigger point. And then I just go to the trigger point and it goes on. It, there is like a forward accelerated amplification of this device. So when it's just close to be turned on on its, its this first little current starts that current 
amplify the effect in this unit and it goes on uh, really really fast and very very steep so it's definitely used for amplifying stuff uh, where you need something to trigger or compare at a voltage and then control something else at a very high uh, rise time or something like that so one tiny little final word about this um, device like i said here is your current direction and this is positive and this is negative and your gate control voltage is positive and negative like that and then when the gate goes below the anode 0.35 volt between these then you trigger the device and in some applications you will actually see it used a little bit different where the gate voltage is held constant and then anode voltage is the one that moves and that's of course perfectly fine and then when the anode voltage goes over the gate that is fixed then it of course also triggers obviously it's the same that's going to happen because the voltage to anode cathode is not important or not super important for how this uh, device works.